Terry. Tonight she's going to tell you a story. Put your hands together for the lovely and talented Katie Hughes! This one horrible experience I had at uh, a friend's birthday. And um, I, I was working at a college at the time, uh, a college in Providence. Some might even call it a Providence College. And, um, I was the supervisor for a number of work study students. And, you know, I was only a couple of years older than them anyway, so it was kind of, you know, more of a pure environment. One of my work-study students came in and she said, Oh, Katie, I'm so sad. It's my 21st birthday and all of my friends are involved in the theater production and they can't go out because they have rehearsal. Now, I felt bad. I mean, of course this girl is going to get drunk with her pals at another time. But I, I said, you know what, Jane? I'm calling her Jane. Jane, let's, let's get together, scrape together a bunch of people we know and go to a restaurant and you can order that fancy drink for the first time. So we go to a restaurant in Providence and we, we get together this random group of people. Now, the people themselves weren't random individually, but what was random was the grouping. This permutation of people had never hung out before. And I don't know if you folks have ever been in a group of people that don't typically hang out, but conversation is, is difficult. <laughs> and, and you don't have a lot in common with these people, so there's a lot of small talk. So we were doing a lot of small talk, you know, and mostly about Jane's birthday and 21 and, you know, birthday stories. And then we started talking about birth stories. And so, you know, one person was like, yeah, my mom was in labor for 47 hours. And another one's like, yeah, I was a C-section. And someone was like, oh my god, my dad didn't even make it to the hospital on time. And I mean, like, so this, this was good. You know, we were talking. It was filling the gap in the weird, awkward moments. Um, and then nobody, nobody heard from Kevin down at the end of the table. And we all knew why. Kevin is adopted. And so clearly he's not going to have these birthing stories or we weren't going to pry for them because, you know, that's, that would be insensitive. So we're jibber-jabbering and all of a sudden from the end of the table, Kevin says, Now I know you don't think I can contribute. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> now, Kevin is a politician type, boisterous, loud, talk, 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 so boxy. So once you get him going, forget it. So we're like, okay, brace yourself. Kevin's like, well, I did find a, out a couple of things about my birth mother. You know, I found out that she was five feet tall and only 100 pounds. And so everyone at the table is just kind of doing the obligatory, like, wow, wow, she was tiny. Wow, petite, huh? It's like, what do you say to that, right? So, oh, wow, yeah, tiny. Yeah, and then he says, and I was a nine pound baby. <laughs> and at this moment, without pause, I say at full voice, well, no wonder she. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to tell you that that ellipses tasted like battery acid and thumbtacks. <laughs> And there was no coming back from it. I was the elder at this table, the college employee, and I made fun of an adopted kid. <laughs> and it, literally tears are streaming down my face. I was completely speechless, and no one said anything. <laughs> Because there's nothing you can do to turn that sentence into anything else. Well, no wonder she loved you so much. No wonder she really... There's nothing. You can't do anything. It, the, let's, let's all finish the sentence together. No wonder she gave you up for adoption. 
So I've, I've, I've had a bad experience at birthday parties ever since. And I just want to share that with you guys. <laughs> Thank you and happy birthday.